All right, so I've gotten a couple questions about the loadout of my battle belt or war belt, whatever you want to call it. Uh, to start out, the base is a HSGI Sure Grip padded belt. It's a pretty solid belt. I'm sure you guys have seen them before. Um, I'm running the actual the Cobra Beck Buckle Riggers belt as the belt that holds it together. Uh, I'll just go ahead and start on the weak side. I'm running taco mag pouches. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with them. They're a great pouch. I'm running 30 round AR-15 P mags and Glock 34 mags. Uh, directly below that I've got a roly poly dump pouch from Maxpedition. I like it's hanging right below as it allows me to keep all of my movements with my left hand to that same general area. Coming over I have a uh, fixed blade knife. This particular knife is a Libra Fighter. It's put together by Kramer Custom Knives. It's a great knife. I don't use it as much of a utility knife, but it's nice to have on the belt. Coming across, I've got a HSGI large utility pouch. Um, gloves that are just grim locked on. Uh, I've got a small backup flashlight and a chem light on the outside. In the inside of this guy, I've got some spare mags. Uh, spare first aid gear, chest seals, an extra, Olay's bandage, quick clot, that sort of thing. I've also got spare batteries for my aim point stored in there. Coming straight across, I've got the HSGI bleeder blowout kit with a cat tourniquet on the side, EMT shears. The actual contents of this I'll cover at a later date, but uh, it's pretty much everything you need to treat a gunshot. Holster wise, I'm running a G-Code SOC with a Glock 34. Uh, I'm using their RTI duty mount, which just lowers it down a little bit, which makes the draw stroke, stroke a little cleaner when you're wearing a vest. And then at the front, I've got a SOG multi-tool.